What's up, everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U, and uh, today I've got another fun toy to talk about. Uh, this is a new job site light. So LED, um, it's called the rocket. There's actually a couple different kinds of rockets. So this is another type of rocket that Milwaukee makes. This is 2,500 lumens. So this thing is bright as balls. As we all know, balls are bright. Um, this is a 1,400 lumen. So not quite as bright. It doesn't put out as much light. It's got a smaller light on it. Um, but it's on the M12 system. So it uses the 12 volt battery packs. Um, this is an extended three amp hour battery pack, but you know, it still uses the little tiny compact ones as well. So uh, it's not as powerful, but it is easier to carry. Like it's easy to stick this in the back of a van if you've got a small vehicle or something. This thing, I find that I just can't bring it anywhere because it's too big. Um, but if I do have a job that's like really dark and I need long-term light, I will stick this in. Both of the rockets that they have um, have the option to be plugged into AC power. So you can have an extension cord, plug this in, not even use the battery, and just use it all day long. Really handy to have. This thing has the same thing. So plug it in. You can see it takes 18 volt batteries. Um, the height that this thing stands up to is pretty impressive. So there it is. So that is six feet. Um, it doesn't have as many features as the other one, like as far as like locking in place and snapping and where it, its range of movement. Um, the other one goes up to seven feet, um, but it's like it's really compact. Like you can keep it down at this level, you can go all the way up. Um, it's more of a spotlight, really, so it kind of shoots in one direction rather than like splaying out over a large area. Um, so I'm going to shut the lights off and just kind of show you how it lights the area. All right, so it's got a couple of different settings. It's got a high. If you want to turn it on high, it's like way unfocused. Whoa. There it is. <laughs> All right, so that's the high, that's the low, and then there's off. Um, but let me show you just kind of how it sh how it shines light. So it still does light up, you know, like a pretty decently sized area. You could you don't have to point it in one place. It's not that much of a spot. It is kind of like an area light. It's just that it doesn't have as big of a head, so it doesn't spread out as much light. It doesn't give as many lumens either. So it's not going to shine as far necessarily as something with a higher lumen output. Um, but you know, you can work in a large range. Uh, large area. I don't put it on low. Oops. That's high. That's low. Low is just like a little bit too limp, dim. I feel like there should be a high, medium, and low, but again, it's 14 lumens. It's 12 volts, so I don't think it's going to get much brighter than that. Um, but a lot of that is largely due to the fact that there's only uh, 12 actual bulbs inside of here lighting it up. So. Um, it might be nice to see them put more, like put a little bit bigger head on it, but being that it's 12 volt, you may just run out of battery a lot quicker. All right, so just for a comparison, um, I wanted to get the 18 volt one out. Uh, this is high, so this is 2,500 lumens. You can already tell it's much brighter, like just much easier to, to work with. Um, the head on this thing is a lot larger so, sorry if you can't really get that on the screen. Um, but it puts out a wider area of light. You can just see it's like super robust. It uses the 18 volt system. So it puts a lot of power out. This will go up to seven feet. Um, I think it's just a better, if you're in professional trade, you know, industry, I guess you could say. Um, I think that using this, if you work in dark places a lot, you're gonna like this more. Um, it's not to like dog on this one necessarily, but I think that for the professional user, most professionals are going to have the 18 volt, the M18 battery system. Um, not as many 
professionals. I mean, like, licensed guys or girls, people that have been doing this for a long time. Most of them get, like, the beefier kits with their tools. So just using something that's, like, everything I have is 18 volt. I have a bandsaw. I have drilled, hammer drill, like, everything. Saws all. It's all 18 volt. I don't have any 12 volt tools. So um, I won't use this just because it's not compatible. I don't want to have to keep two different types of batteries around. Um, so that's just my personal opinion. But you can see the difference when you shut the... This is high, and let's see. That's the highest the 12 volt gets, and it only has a low, whereas this has a high, medium, low, and off. Okay, so you can see the, the kind of like the benefits and the drawbacks for each one. This M18 is awesome for, for like just lighting an area and it is compatible with all the batteries that you're going to have if you're professional and you're already using 18 volt stuff which most people are um, it makes sense to get this guy it's just so cumbersome i mean it's big it's heavy it's beefy as hell it's hard to put this in the back of like a covered van or anything i mean if you got a truck that's wide open and you can throw this in the back of your truck cool but if it's like raining outside or you don't want your shit getting stolen out of the back of your truck it sucks to have to do that so having something a little bit more compact is nice and if you have a 12 volt system already like this thing's perfect and most of the milwaukee chargers that you buy have both m18 m and m12 uh, charging ports not all of them but i think that most tools that you're going to get or most battery packs that you're going to buy are going to have that dual option so um it really is not a bad idea if you get some 12 volt stuff and 18 volt stuff. It just sucks to have to keep up with two different kinds of batteries. But every single one of the tool manufacturers out there has that same issue. They've got some 12 volt stuff, they've got some 18 volt stuff. So um, that's my opinion. Uh, this is the tool that I'm actually reviewing, so I'm going to put that one off to the side. Uh, I'm going to give this. I hate looking at something else to compare when I give a number. Um, I'm going to give it a four. Uh, it doesn't deserve a three because it actually is really badass. Threes I usually give to things that I'm never going to use and they're just going to sit in the back of my truck because they're kind of cool but kind of not. Um, I do use this and I would use this and if anybody has an M12 system like this is the one to get. There's really not a lot of other stuff that you're going to want to use that's on the 12 volt system. So I think it's really good, really well designed, uh, well thought out. I think that it would be cool if it had a little bit more uh, like more quantity of LED diodes on it. Um, as far as the size, like super light, compact, easy to carry. Um, so yeah, I give it a four. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, there's going to be a link down below. If you want to go get one, just click the link and go buy it uh, on Home Depot's website. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next episode.